So in terms of the actual classes, a lot of the time the learning, um, the ways of learning that they use and the different methods of teaching are going to be a lot different from your home university, but that doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to be really stressful or you're not going to enjoy it. I actually loved the way that they teach in America um, because it was obviously a semester system. Everyone was starting the same, like new classes at the same time. So it wasn't like I was jumping in midway through and I didn't know what was going on. Also, all the classes I picked, I really ended up enjoying which was great and the way that they did assessments really helped me um, improve my work ethic because you kind of had graded assessments every week and your attendance was graded as well so you were always having to do work and attend classes which was really good for me because I feel like I can get in a pattern where I just don't go to uni for a few days maybe and I feel kind of unmotivated to do the work if I know that an essay is due in like three months and I don't have to do anything now whereas as I was constantly learning and constantly doing things I found it so much easier when it came to my big assignments my midterms and my finals because I'd already done all the work and I wasn't having to cram it all in the day before and then obviously at every university there are societies and clubs that you can join um, because mine was a liberal arts school there were a lot of creative societies I ended up joining the vegan society which was really nice because we got to have discussions about different things I got to meet new people that I have the same kind of values and make new friends and also we got to visit some amazing vegan spots all throughout the city which was amazing and um, if you're interested in any of the vegan places I ate in Chicago you can read about that in the blog post that I wrote which I'll link down below and I'm also going to be doing a video which will be out really soon all about my favorite vegan food there but I think it's definitely good to join societies and look more into the different clubs they have to offer whether that be in your study abroad uni or just your uni at home because you can meet new people you can discover new things that you're passionate about and it really gives you that good social and work balance um, that doesn't associate uni or with like stress and deadlines you can also have a lot of fun with it and yeah So speaking a little more about finance, obviously moving abroad is going to be a little bit more expensive maybe from your home university because you've got to think about flights, travel insurance, health insurance um, and just like the general living cost. Because in Chicago um, it was a city obviously, uh, it was a bit more expensive than when I, where I live now in Bath. However, I didn't find it too much more expensive and as I said I got some extra funding from the university. Also if you're studying abroad you can get extra funding on your student loan from the government in the UK and you can also get an array of travel grants and extra funding from your universities and from other like charities and sponsorships that will help you with your study abroad travels. Also um, because I wasn't on the meal plan I was obviously buying my own food and things like that I did find that some supermarkets were more expensive but obviously you just have to shop around find what you can do so yeah I would definitely look into any extra funding you can get and any and extra financial support you can get from your uni you can go and speak to your finance office in uni or the international office and they'll give you loads of information on the extra funding you can get when you go out there but it's definitely an experience that is worth the money I feel um, personally um, but there's always a way that you can look into it and try to make that work for you. So another thing that I know I was worried about and I'm sure a lot of other people are worried about when going on study abroad or thinking about doing it is making friends and feeling homesick and I definitely think that it's you're going to be homesick to an extent. At first, you're going to get there, you're going to be in a strange new place and you're just going to be like, I just want to go home. I miss my family, I miss my friends, I miss the comfort of my home and what I'm used to in my life. But that definitely does get easier. I would say definitely keep in contact with all your loved ones, with your family and friends because I'm sure they're it just as excited for you about going on this experience. They're going to want to hear all about it. Um, but also just remember that you're not there forever you're going to go back and once you're back you're going to miss being out there it's kind of missing what you know you had in that sort of sense so yeah you've just got to embrace it you've got to look at it like i'm in this new place and i want to make the most out of it that i can obviously some days it's going to be harder if you're feeling particularly homesick or if you're seeing your friends are doing things and you wish that you could be doing it as well but it's definitely a worthwhile experience and I do not regret going at all. I wish I could have stayed longer to be honest, it was such a great time and yeah, your friends are gonna welcome you with open arms when you get back. For me, I actually 
realised that um, I had kind of grown out of touch with a lot of people when I was away, maybe not as much effort was being made or maybe I just kind of realised maybe we're just friends because we're comfortable in that situation so it's definitely a good thing to reflect on all the friendships you have back home and really work out who you want to keep in contact with and who you're really excited to see when you get back. So. Don't worry too much about being homesick, it happens to everyone and I feel like if you've already moved away for university anyway, you probably are already adjusted to a certain level of homesick, don't let it be too daunting if you're moving abroad, especially if you're moving like halfway across the world, um, it definitely does get better and you will make friends really easily at the university you go to. I found a lot of the friends that I made were either at my orientation events, in my dorm building, there were also a few girls that came over from my home university to Chicago with me, I didn't know any of them beforehand but we made some really good friendships and some of the best friends that I have now so it's definitely a way to make new friends, meet new people. Um, also, I've now got so many amazing American friends that it's so sad that I'm not being able to see them every day um, but hopefully I they'll come and visit in the future and I'm planning on going back to Chicago and seeing some of them so yeah it's a really exciting time to be able to meet new people and also be able to meet new people that have completely different experiences from you they live in a different place and they can kind of show you all the best parts in the city or wherever you're traveling to and yeah it's just making new friends and new connections with people was definitely one of the highlights of my trip um, there are going to be some people obviously that you meet that you don't get on with or maybe some people that you like and it doesn't work out that kind of things but it's all kind of the process of uni I feel and yeah it's definitely a great place to meet new people and especially um, in America because they're on the semester system just because I went second semester didn't mean that everyone was already friends and knew everyone. There were also quite a few people that had just joined that year, maybe joining completely university completely new or transferring from a different school. So it's definitely don't feel like you're going to be the odd one out because you're like the study abroad student that isn't from the place and you don't know anyone. It's definitely not like that. I also found that having a British accent in America actually benefited me in a lot of ways. Um, it was definitely a talking point but also it just seemed to be very useful so definitely keep that in mind. So that's all that I'm going to speak about today. I am planning to do some more videos kind of around study abroad um, and if you have any more specific questions then please let me know down below and I'll try and answer as many as I can for you. I'm also thinking about maybe doing a blog post about um, flights and expenses and the application process of study abroad and those kind of more technical things that will be easier for me to write about so if you are interested in that please let me know but I hope that this has been useful and has encouraged you to look into some study abroad opportunities because I really believe that it is such a beneficial experience that everyone should have a look into if that's something you're interested in so I hope that you've enjoyed listening to me ramble on about my study abroad experience and yeah if you have any questions leave them below but for now i'll see you next time